Today I got this brand new ASUS 15 inch laptop. I'm going to upgrade the SSD to a better SSD and do a clean install of Windows 10. I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this brand new ASUS 15 inch laptop. It's pretty basic. I'm going to try to make it a little less basic. It's an ASUS L510M. It's only got an Intel Southern N4020 CPU. It's got four gigabytes of DDR4 embedded or integrated ram no slots that's the max it has standard intel uhd graphics it's got uh, the sandisk emmc 128 gigabytes of flash storage um, but believe it or not there's a m.2 nvme slot in this thing so i'm going to add a brand new western digital sn550 nvme ssd 500 gigabyte He's ba oh, my furnace is kicked on. Sorry, guys. Um, he basically is going to store a lot of pictures on here from his several trail cams. That's about all he's going to do with it. Maybe a little bit of internet stuff. So anyway, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to leave the obviously the EMMC flash storage stays on the little tiny motherboard that's in there, and you'll see here in a second when I open it up. Then I'm just going to do a clean install of the newest version of Windows 10. He doesn't want Windows 11, so I'm just going to put 21H2 Windows 10 on it. So let me go ahead and unplug it. I'm just gonna open it right up here. I've already removed all the screws. Uh, all, these two screws in the two front corners right here are little short ones. All the rest are all the same length. I got them laid out over there. Pretty simple. Just make sure you put the little short ones in these two little holes right here, not the long ones in these front corners. So I'm just gonna use my little triangle spudger tool here. Get into the seam here. These pop open pretty darn easy. Just kind of get it started and just give it a little jiggle. Should come up pretty easy. Just like that. This is it guys. Got a big old battery, a lot of empty space. But over here is our M.2 NVMe slot. Here's a standoff. They don't provide the screw, but I have the screws to hold the drive in. This is the whole motherboard. Your CPU, your memory, your um, flash storage, 128 gigs, it's all underneath of here. Uh, no cooling fan, it's just a Celeron. It's just got, this is basically the heat sink, this piece of metal shield here. Uh, you got some speakers, little I.O. board over here for your micro SD card slot, USB port. Um, that's about it. So quickly here, if you guys want, you can go ahead and well, that's interesting. I wonder why that's like that. There's a cable disconnected here from the motherboard. What in the heck is that for? I don't think it has a lighted keyboard. Well, let's see. I'm not sure what that's for. <clears throat> Actually. Boy, that's, that's pretty tiny, but it's not where it's supposed to be. But let me put it back. That was an unexpected surprise. All right, well, we got that. But here's the battery. If you guys want to disconnect the battery, it's right here. This little metal bar right here slides back just a little tiny bit, and then you can lift the cable off the motherboard. Um, but I'm going to be super careful and not mess around with any of that. I'm just going to put my M.2 NVMe drive right in the slot here. Just be careful not to touch anything I don't need to touch. It should be okay. Always protect yourself from static discharge when you're inside your computer. Please. My bench tops, floors are all anti-static, so I don't have any problems. I'm going to put my little mounting screw in there. Just like that, no heat shield required, guys. I mean, come on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna install Windows on this 500 gig NVMe drive. Then when all is said and done, I'm, I'm gonna delete all the partitions on that flash memory, and that'll just be 128 gigabytes of extra storage for them, basically. Because you can't take that out, it is what it is. Um, that's all I'm doing in there. I'm not sure what that is. Keyboard, touchpad. Hmm. Lighting keyboard, possibly. Let me uh, put the cover. Right, we're good. I'm going to put that back on there. 
I know I'm going kind of quick, but I just kind of sort of get these done. The clean install shouldn't take very long at all. Said he wants Windows 10, not Windows 11. And there. And I'll put all the screws back in when I'm done, but don't forget in these front, the front corners here, those little two short screws go in there. Okay. So I'm just going to plug in my power cord. I'm going to take my 21H2 USB install drive here, pop it in the USB port. On these ASUS, I'm going to turn on and start punching F2 to get into the BIOS. Got to be really quick on there it is. Um, pretty basic here. This is uh, our, our boot priority, but I'm going to go over here and down here on the either F8 or click right here which says boot menu. And then here's my flash drive. I'm going to boot off of that to do a fresh clean install of Windows. Windows 10. Can be a pretty quick little upgrade. Once I get you know the Windows reinstall, I get all the updates, throw Chrome on it for them, and there you go. So I'm just going to choose English, United States. I'm going to hit install now. You guys can see that okay. I know I'm going kind of quick, but this is a pretty pretty basic laptop. Now I'm tangled up in my stupid cord again. Come on, Dale. That Celeron processor, I mean, it's they're just they don't have much kick to them. So I'm gonna accept the license. I'm gonna go to custom here, and here's all them. This very first one is our new Western Digital Drive, but I'm gonna delete all these other partitions. We just simply don't need them because we're gonna not do much with that EMMC storage that's in there. Gonna delete them all, and when all is said and done, it should just automatically boot off the new NVMe drive. So there's our there's our two drives showing there. The top one, of course, is our 500, and there's our little 128. It's 116.5 gigabytes. So I'm going to choose the, the the bigger one, the new Western Digital M.2 drive, and hit next. So I'm just going to kind of let that go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's just a standard clean install. When it gets almost back into Windows, we'll just go in there. I'll initialize that 128 gig SSD, so he'll have that for some extra storage. He can move some, dump some pictures over on it or something, or whatever you want. But yeah, these this is this is a pretty basic pretty basic laptop. It does have a full 1080p HD display. It's got a C-type USB, HDMI port, does have a micro SD card slot. Um, so it's got, you know, it's not bad. <laughs> oh, that cable was for the keyboard light. I have to open back that back up and check it, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's not going to work it anyway until we get into Windows. Um, with an Asus laptop, after a clean install, I always go into the App Store and get the, what is it, My Asus app. That way it'll control all the function keys, get the little on-screen displays popping up and stuff. Other than that, you don't really need anything else. Windows 10, or, you know, the Windows is going to take care of all the drivers that you're going to need. No problem at all. It's nice and thin and light. It just doesn't have very much horsepower with that Celeron processor. Unfortunately. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. All right, guys, I'm waiting for Cortana here. The keyboard along the way. And I'll get through this setup real right, quick. Just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region right. is set to the United, the United States. States. I'm going to choose. Your keyboard is set to U.S. US. I'm going to skip additional layouts. You can change all this stuff later through settings. 
Now let's if you want, I always connected. choose I don't have internet. That way I'm not forced to sign in or create a Microsoft Message account. Again, you can adjust all this stuff later if you, you wish. Your account. Okay, now type a And we don't need a password. Account. I don't do passwords. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. I just if turn all this stuff off. And select accept when you're ready. I leave location on though. You can turn that off if you want to though. Hey, look, that's not now. Almost done now. You just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Hi. What's up? All right, guys, we're just about there. Gonna wrap this up real quick. And. All right, so we got to clean stuff first. I'm just going to go to my start button. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to disk management. And here's our 128 gig unallocated EMMC flash storage. I'm going to just right click on it, hit new simple volume. I'm just going to hit next and choose all the defaults. Drive letter D. Uh, you can you can name it whatever you want here. Um, I don't know. E M M C. How's that? But you can call it whatever you want, just storage. Hit finish, you can do a quick format. <clears throat> there. So now if we just go over here to File Explorer real quick. It's even faster too. So there's our brand new NVMe drive. There's a little 128 gig for some extra storage with a clean install. So that was a quick, easy little upgrade, guys. I'm going to double check once I get the Asus or my Asus app on here, that keyboard backlight should work. But until I get that installed and the touchpad driver, it's, just, it's not going to light up. I'm not too concerned, but I'll probably open it up real quick. Just make sure I got that cable on all the way. I think I do. But um, anyway, that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Check out more of my, my videos. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the like button if you like it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.